What's going on, Hawkeye fans? It's your boy, Nolan Hawkeye Anthony here, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic week wherever you may be and however you may be listening. Recently, I did a Iowa Hawkeye football commit analysis of players Jack Dotsler and Jada Montgomery. You guys can watch rewatch that on my YouTube channel, uh, which you know I, I hope I've earned a nice little subscribe press from you guys, and you guys won't have to miss any of the content or the videos. Uh, because of the uh, warm reception to these analysis, I've decided to continue with them. And, you know, uh, Iowa received a huge commitment from Massachusetts point guard DeSante Bowen. And I love doing this, uh, this stuff, taking a look at the uh, Iowa Hawkeye football future as well as basketball future. Uh, now, here's the deal. I I'll be the first one to admit this. Uh, what a guy is in high school, you, there's no way to know for sure what he is going to be uh, in college. As a former Division One water play, player myself, I'm telling you, there's no way to know. You, th The best thing you can do is make an educated guess on how someone is going to perform uh, at the next level because the talent is just so much closer and the things that separate people uh, isn't usually talent. It's usually the other stuff hard work, uh, what kind of person is that individual, just all kinds of stuff. Uh, and then I'll also say this, and, and I said this in my uh, previous videos, football, I, I, I played uh, quarterback uh, for, you know, for my flag football team in middle school, uh, but I was uh, never in tackle football. So 100% for me, all I can do is take a look at what I know from watching football as well as what I know athletically to be true and what helps in sports. And when you uh, listen to me talk about Jada Montgomery, for example, you know, you'll hear me say the word explosive a lot, you know, fast twitch, things like that. Uh, so, so that is definitely the case in football. Now, basketball is a different story. Okay. For, you know, for me, I played with a ton of fantastic uh, basketball players uh, while I was growing up, uh, you know, uh, Utah center Rudy Gobert actually transferred from France to Sacramento, California. When I was a senior in high school, he was on my uh, AAU basketball team. So I, I know a lot more. Uh, and then also I was recruited to play basketball as well. So I know a lot more about basketball than I do uh, about football. Now, also with that being said, it is hard to gauge everything when you can only watch a highlight reel now you can still get a lot from watching a highlight reel but you you're not able to get the entire scope of every anything and everything so without further ado let's get into this now before we take a look at DeSante Bowen's highlight tape I do want to go over uh the recruiting rankings uh, for him. Not that that's going to make a massive impression on me. Uh, you know, for example, Jaden Montgomery was a, a, you know, a pretty low three star. And, you know, I came to my own uh, idea and opinion of his skill set. But I do think it is important to say that number one, Iowa has absolutely uh, started a nice little pipeline. And, and in my opinion, a pipeline is, you know, all you need are two players from a certain area and you've developed a pipeline. Uh, for, you know, when it comes to Iowa hoops, they have most certainly started a nice little uh, pipeline in the New Hampshire uh, East Coast area. And I think that is absolutely massive. Uh, and I wish, quite frankly, Iowa football still had that pipeline uh, with Kirk Ferentz, you know, having those ties uh, to Connecticut and areas like that, because the reality is this, uh, the state of Iowa, while occasionally it has phenomenal talent, such as, uh, you know, the, the five-star, I think he's 2024. He might be a 2020, no, I think he's 2023 prospect. Omaha, Beli, uh, Beliu, I think that's his name, uh, who absolutely screams uh, five-star talent. 
Iowa has a t- the state of Iowa has a ton of talent. And on top of that, in basketball, it is much easier to fill your roster with your state's talent because each year you only need one anywhere from one to at most five commitments. Now with guys transferring, sometimes it's as much as six, but you know, nine times out of 10, you won't get more than six commitments in a given recruiting cycle uh, in, in the sport of basketball. So you can fill it up much more uh, with your state's talent in the sport of basketball. Now, with that being said, Iowa is not necessarily known for its basketball talent. It's had some nice, uh, you know, the state of Iowa, that is, it's had some nice prospects like Harrison Barnes, who uh, is in the NBA. Of course, he went and played at North Carolina. You know, it's it, like it already, like I already said, it has the five-star commit, Omaha Baliu. Uh, and, you know, before that, you, uh, guys that committed to Iowa, Adam Woodbury and Mike Gazelle were high four-star players. So it has talent. Uh, quite, you know, quite frankly, it's football where I have this this bigger statement about for the Iowa Hawkeyes, which is if there's only so much talent in your state, it is imperative that you develop uh, a pipeline or, you know, at least an avenue towards talent in other states. And Fran McCaffrey has absolutely done that. The other thing I want to say about Fran McCaffrey is, and the University of Iowa basketball program uh, at large, One of the big criticisms was that Fran McCaffrey not only struggled to recruit, in quotes, but struggled to recruit point guards, high-level point guards. And since I started doing that, I have pushed back on that big time. And I think more and more people are starting to see that that is not the case. When he came and he's been at, Fran McCaffrey has been at Iowa for 12 years now. When he came to Iowa... Uh, he landed point, four-star consensus, four-star point guard Mike Gazelle, who started for the Hawkeyes for four years. Uh, he's landed uh, Jordan Bohannon, who is considered a four-star uh, by ESPN. Joe Toussaint was considered a four-star by ESPN. Aaron Dulles was a high three-star point guard uh, out of the state of Illinois, which is not easy to go to a different state like Illinois and snag one of its uh, top talent, let alone a point guard. So from the beginning, I have thought that Fran McCaffrey has done an excellent job, uh, not only recruiting all the positions, but recruiting the point guard now is there room for improvement yes there always is and with this past season with the Iowa Hawkeyes uh being a consensus consistent top 10 team in the country despite being bounced a little early in the NCAA tournament they have had a national player of the year in Luca Garza winning the wooden award uh that in my opinion the top national player of the year award uh and he won some others as well so this past season has absolutely enabled Iowa to get into how you know into the rooms of top tier level talent that they otherwise would not have been able to and even that statement is not completely true considering that you know if i look at past recruiting classes uh indiana forward center uh, trace jackson davis had iowa high on his list uh keon brooks who plays for kentucky had iowa high on his list so Iowa has been Tyler Eulis, uh, who went to Kentucky. Iowa was a high, high, high uh, team on his list. So Iowa has done a good job. The, the more accurate statement is that this past season has allowed Iowa to more consistently and more broadly be in contention for nearly every top recruit that they have gone after. And in this 2022 class, they are in a fantastic position to have possibly one of their best recruiting classes since Fran has been there. And that, folks, that Iowa fans, your boy is very, very excited. Now, as you guys see on the screen, DeSante Bowen's recruiting profile uh, as a in the composite ranking, which takes uh, all the recruiting services, I think it mainly takes the, the top three. And I do think 
the the people who created 247 sports are actually creating another recruiting website and i listen folks i think that's awesome i i don't think that there is a recruiting site that has a monopoly or has the necessarily the end all be all take on it, each recruit now i do think that 247 sports does have uh, the most consistent, the most accurate uh, recruiting rankings and recruiting takes on prospects. There's no way for me to know 100%. But with that being said, DeSante Bowen is a consensus three-star, or excuse me, a composite three-star. However, for 247 Sports, he is the number 82 national recruit, the 17th best point guard in the country, and I believe the second best player, or no, he is the top player in Massachusetts. Uh, on top of that, ESPN, which you'll see right here, has him graded as an 85, and that folks is good enough for uh, a four-star guy and I don't understand how the composite rankings have him as a three-star guy uh, when two out of the three top recruiting sites have him as a four-star guy the only place that does not is rivals which I think that will change uh, very shortly when they come up with their new uh, rankings now all that being said, I think 247 has the, that's what I'm going to be going off of. And in my eye, I consider DeSante Bowen a four-star guy, especially when he is not a fringe four-star guy. He is a top 100, top 85 player in the entire country. So that, folks, is good enough for me to say that Iowa landed a four-star point guard. It's also important to note that for the Iowa Hawkeyes in the past 12 years, while I said that they have done a good job of landing some, contrary to popular belief, that they have landed some pretty high caliber point guards, DeSante Bowen becomes not only one of the top uh, overall prospects nationally that Iowa has landed in, a, you know, in the past 12 years, but most certainly one of the top point guards that Iowa has landed in the past uh, 12 years. I think the only guy who, the only point guards, and one of them is barely, I don't know if you can consider him a point guard, that would are close to him in the recruiting rankings that Iowa has landed the past 12 years would be Mike Gazelle and uh, Connor McCaffrey. But Connor McCaffrey, I'm not sure that you can count him as a point guard so much as you can count him as a combo guard. As you can see here, uh, in the past 12 years, the, the top recruit in the recruiting uh, websites era that Iowa landed was Tyler Smith, who ended up transferring to Tennessee. But under Fran McCaffrey, who's been at Iowa for quite a while now, uh, the top guys in the composite rankings have been Adam Woodbury, Joe Wieskamp, Tyler Cook and Patrick McCaffrey with the top point guard being Mike Gazelle. Now I'm going to take a look and show you guys the top players just by 247 sports alone and tell you which uh, guy is the top Iowa commit under the Fran McCaffrey era. The top guys that Iowa has had, or excuse me, received commitments from uh, in the Fran McCaffrey era has been Adam Woodbury checking in at 51. Uh, he came out of the state of Iowa, and that was a pretty big commitment considering the amount of talent that was coming, uh, or that was, or excuse me, the number of top tier programs that were after Adam Woodbury, including North Carolina and teams like that. So it was a big deal. Tyler Cook, similar thing. Florida was after him, you know, in state Missouri. He checked in at 75. That was a huge, huge, huge commitment for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Mike Gazelle, who actually was from the state of Nebraska. You know, people forget that, but Sioux City is kind of an I from my impression, it's more of an Iowa place than a Nebraska place, even though it's technically in the area of Nebraska. I could be wrong. I don't know. But none nonetheless, he checked in at 92 and shows the Iowa Hawkeyes and Pat McCaffrey, who checked in at 125. Now, I do think this is absolutely important for Iowa because if you have a season like Iowa just had. Matter of fact, 
if you had the past three years that Iowa has had. Uh, going back three years ago, they nearly beat Tennessee go, uh, in route to a Sweet 16, uh, but Tennessee would win in overtime going to the Sweet 16. Then last year when, when Tyler Cook left, everybody, including Iowa fans, not your boy, thought that Iowa was in trouble, but Luca Garza stepped up and just tore it up. By the way, Luca Garza was a four-star guy. I think he actually might have been a top 100 uh, recruit. We, we may as well uh, grab some clarification for that. Luca Garza checked in at the 105th best player in the country. And I think looking at Luca Garza, it is important uh, because he came from the Washington, D.C. area. And when you look at Iowa recently, they have absolutely been going over to the East Coast a lot more and doing a lot better. And I think it is a fantastic idea because here's the deal. You're not always two things. Number one, you're not always going to get top tier talent coming out of the state of Iowa. And then secondly, when you do, you're not always going to land said talent. So uh, it just, it is what it is. So you have to build, uh, you know, avenues elsewhere. But the way I look at it is it, for Iowa to build an elite, elite program, which I think they absolutely can and are on their way towards doing, especially in basketball here under Fran McCaffrey. If you want to do that, the way to do it is obviously land the top tier talent in your state if you can. If you can't, then what you do is you, and when I mean top tier talent, I mean high four star guys, close to five star. If you can't, you always get guys like in the previous class, uh, Peyton Sanford, to be nice role players for your team. And you get guys like DeSante Bowen to be your top tier, you know, your top most talented guy. That is how you build a juggernaut. You get top talent, but maybe not the upper echelon and guys like Peyton Sanford. And then you go elsewhere to find your creme de la creme talent. And I think Iowa is doing a fantastic job of that as late. Moreover, let's take a look at some of the guys on the East Coast that Iowa has landed over the last four recruiting cycles. When you look back at it, I, since 2017, Iowa has landed Luca Garza, Joe Tissant out of New York, Josh Gundele, who I believe came out of Massachusetts, Boston, actually. Riley Mulvey, who is originally in New York, uh, but transferred to Connecticut, but is now, he was originally a 2022 commit, but reclassified to 2021. And now DeSante Bowen out of Massachusetts. What's interesting to me is if you really wanted to, you could say the Murray twins who were in Florida, that's still the East, but it's more so, I still consider that more so the South. When I think about the area that I'm talking about, those are the guys that I'm talking about. And that is five players that Iowa has landed in that area. And I think that is absolutely fantastic. Furthermore, this talent that they have now will enable them to get a guy like Omaha Baliu in the near future, as long as Iowa can show that they are a consistent winner and perhaps Luca Garza can, you know, gets drafted fairly high. But not only that, shows he can play in the NBA, which I absolutely think he will be able to do. Tyler Cook, you know, does well in the NBA and Iowa continues to win, that's when you start to land to higher tier talent like Omaha Baleo. Now, I'm not saying hold your breath for that, but if there's any, if there was ever a chance, that would be it. Now, DeSante Bowen, I think this is a phenomenal commitment for the Iowa Hawkeyes. I love this guy's frame. Uh, for, you know, for me, at, at the point guard position, there's numerous types of point guards you have a more pure point guard who facilitates the offense gets things going 
is the court uh, is the coach on the floor you have more combo guards who can score they can pass still but they are more of a scoring point guard. i do think that in the game today you are seeing point guards more consistently being scoring point guards and i do think that that is the case today but specifically with desante bowen right off the bat at six foot three he has an excellent excellent frame now is he as explosive as Joe Toussaint? No, he's not. But folks, you're not going to see that very often. Joe, Joe Toussaint is as explosive as it comes. You're not going to see that very often. DeSante Bowen at six foot three, if, if we put it into context, Jordan Bohannon is six foot one. Joe Toussaint is six foot six one. Uh, CJ Frederick, who is now at Kentucky, is six three, six four. That is DeSante Bowen's height at point guard. So it is fantastic. Now, in my opinion, you can't play point guard unless you do have some quicks to get to the rim, which we will most certainly see in his highlight. Another thing I want to say before we look at his highlights is I love the fact that Fran recruited him. I trust Fran so much in seeing talent. Not only has he gotten some under the radar talent to come to Iowa as well as some you know over overall good talent to come to Iowa the guys that he's missed on have always almost always gone on to go wherever they go and been fantastic players and that shows me that Fran McCaffrey has an excellent track record at bringing in top tier talent well, here we go. Uh, I will say I could not find his stats anywhere. So if you can find that, be sure to comment uh, and I will add it uh, to the video somehow or, you know, put it in the description. Um, but uh, and, and we're going to check out a few videos here, uh, for, you know, for this guy. Weird. I thought he was a lefty when I, at first. Uh, obviously, that's wrong. He shoots right handed. Man, look at the size of him. You can clearly see how much bigger he is than the guy he's going against right there. And he, he has broad shoulders. Uh, thus far, what I've seen, he just looks like a strong point guard. He's still going to have to gain some weight, but he looks strong. Yeah, that was a very explosive move. And I like this because this looks like all one game right here. This looks like all one game here. That's that's a gr that's a grown man move right there. You had that's great defense, but he was still able to score because of his size. Uh, I, I really really like that right there. Uh, I think it's 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 excellent. I mean, folks, obviously this kid's good. He's a top 100 player. Um, and I don't know if this is the, his most recent tape or what. That's a smooth jumper. Uh, let's go back and look at that jump shot, that jumper. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at that jumper. That's an excellent pass. And again, I'm aware that these are highlights. I get that. I the the shot, his shot had um, a little bit of wasted movement, but for the most part, it was a very smooth. And I like how high it is. That'll work well for him as he gets older uh, and he goes against tougher competition because the more the higher you go, the harder it is to get get your shots uh, to to score. Plain and simple, uh, it, it is very difficult. So far, I like his jumper a lot. I think it's a very smooth jumper. Mm, yeah. And again, I don't know the talent level he's going against here. 
Uh, you know, I can't say for sure. I can only look at him and, and, and tell you, uh, you know, what my thoughts are on the highlights here. L right away, folks, he can get to the rim. And, and I knew that was going to be the case. At six foot three, let me, let me put it into perspective for you guys. At six foot three, he is taller than 95% of the people he's going to walk out and amongst, let alone being a point guard. So uh, that, 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 that showed some explosion there. That absolutely showed explosion. Uh, again, six foot three, folks. Again, let me put it to you this way. How many six foot three people do you know? I know I'm 6'1". I'm taller than most of the people I walk next to. That shows you just how much higher the level is when it comes to uh, these guys. It is absolutely incredible. Um, and, you know, it, it, I mean, it is incredible. He'll instantly be the tallest point guard when he gets to Iowa. If Aaron Eulis is still there, he'll still be taller than Aaron Eulis. Uh, Aaron Eulis is about 6'2". Yeah, the, the number one thing that I have noticed is he gets to the rim at will. He can get to the rim no problem. I, I would like to see more highlights of a mid-range shot, of a three-point shot, because at the end of the day, he will not be able to get to the rim as easily as he is against this competition in high school. So, um, you know, uh, Luca Garza, I think that was Josh Agundale, actually, the guy he just passed it to, his teammate at Iowa, baby. Um, you know, Luca Garza and his dad have talked about this at nauseum. You have to always be adding stuff to your resume because the higher you go up in skill level the harder it is to do uh normal things so you have to always find ways that that's a good example uh you always have to find different ways of getting your shot off i think that was a great example i like his jump shot it's it's not the prettiest jump shot i've ever seen but for the most part it's very smooth um it's very uh, uh, very little wasted motion. Now, I tend to be someone who thinks the form matters, but at the end of the day, what matters is you making it consistently. And regardless of how good the, lo lo the shot looks, if you can shoot the basketball and make it consistently, then so be it. Um, let's see if I can find uh, another uh, highlight of DeSante Bowen. Let's take a look here. Th this is uh, a different guy. No, this is something else here. Um, so, you know, somebody talking to him. Um, so, but, but so far folks, I love, uh, I love his, his frame. I love his, his ball handling skills. I mean, he's a point guard, obviously. Um, I just, I would like, um, I would like to see more. I would like to see some more shooting. I, I for me to make a full blown uh, analysis. But what I have been able to see, uh, he, you know, his shot is is fluid, and which you know that makes me uh, happy to see because as he moves forward, uh, that's what you're going to need, and. When he gets to college, he'll be able to practice his shot a lot more and get better and better. But I do like to see a base of where someone is starting at. And, and again, a lot of these highlights are him uh, going to the rim. I would like to see some jumpers. It's a that's a good looking shot, folks. I like that. That was a that was a man draped all over him, and he still sunk it. Now, that shot, and that could just be one shot. You would like to release it at your highest point, not while you're coming down. In that previous highlight, he he was shooting it while he was coming down, but maybe it was just the maybe it was just the shot. Yeah, he's an athlete too. 
I mean, he's not as quick as Joe Toussaint, but he's an athlete. That was great looking, great looking stroke. See if he yaks this. Ah! That's all I need to see, folks. Folks, there's a reason this guy is a four-star player. And, um, you know, I, I think that this kid might even uh, climb higher than 82nd nationally. I mean, look at the people that were after him. Maryland, Northwestern, Boston College, Iowa. Um, let's see if there were other people. Um, Georgetown, UMass, Rhode Island, Penn State, Miami, Rutgers, Seton Hall, uh, USC, Virginia Tech. He had Pac-12, ACC, uh, Big East, Big Ten, uh, you know, AAC, the Atlantic. I think it's, yeah, the Atlantic Athletic Conference, uh, the ACC. Uh, this dude is nice. Um, for me, I would have liked to see some more highlights of him shooting because like, I, listen, in this day and age, you once you get to college, you need to have multiple things that you do well. Some guys get away with only doing one thing well, but usually they are elite at that one thing. Now, he is elite at getting to the rim. So maybe he will be able to, to uh, do that, just that. His shot, from what I saw, I wanted to see more. It looks very fluid. Uh, as he gets stronger and he gets older, it will be easier for, for him to shoot uh, just in general. So look, I look for that to improve. I also expect that at Iowa, especially with the great shooters that always come through there, that he'll be able to improve. But as it stands right now, he is an, you know, above average shooter at the very least. Uh, he, the, the, the dunk showed that he is very explosive. Folks, to me, the biggest thing that Iowa is getting with this guy is his frame and his ability to get to the rim that Iowa has not had since maybe Mike Gazelle and Mike Gazelle didn't even do it as much as he could. Now, Mike Gazelle is an excellent example of how you need to have more. Uh, you know, Mike Gazelle never got over averaging 10 points a game because all he could do was get to the rim and eventually people stopped that. But folks, I am very high on this guy. Obviously, he's a four-star player. I'm very excited that Iowa landed this guy. I think he, depending on how far Ulysses climbs or whatever, you know, how the point guard uh, situation um, develops at Iowa, I fully expect DeSante Bowen to come in and immediately start for the Hawkeyes. Not that the Hawkeyes are bad. It's just, he's that talented. Now um, you never know. Iowa could be in a place by the time he gets there where, you know, he's a sixth man. Uh, and if that's the case, no problem, no big deal. Uh, you know, he can still make a jump to the NBA after that. Uh, you know, you see all the time guys coming off the bench for these elite teams that still uh, go to the NBA. So I'm very excited about this guy. Very, very happy that Iowa landed this kid. Uh, I, I think that the, that the floor is the limit. I think 6'3 is 6'3. 6'4 sometimes, but 6'3 is a perfect height for a point guard. Now, one question will be if he continues to grow, is he does he turn more into a shooting guard or combo guard? We will see. Uh, but yeah, folks, very, very high on him. Hawkeye's got a good one. And for that, folks, like I said, I am crazy excited. And I think that you guys should be too. Hopefully, Iowa can continue to hold them down. I fully expect them to do so, and things are looking excellent for the Iowa Hawkeyes basketball team, and they are as healthy as they have ever been. Hopefully, they can make the NCAA tournament for a fourth straight season or what would have been a fourth straight season. They would have made it uh, in the COVID season, but you know because of what happened, they didn't. 
Things are looking excellent for the Iowa Hawkeyes, and things look that much better with the commitment of DeSante Bowen out of Massachusetts. All right, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, talk to me. I love uh, interacting with you guys and enjoying your guys' company. I, I really, really do. Chatting with you guys on Twitter and Facebook, the whole nine yards. I'll put that information in the description. And without further ado, DBAP, don't be a pussy willow. Facts or feelings, because your feelings just don't matter. Love y'all. Go Hawks. Bye.